What is up guys and welcome back to the Raid Shadow Legends video with me the real deal. So today we're going to be pulling shards. It's two times sacred which is the best chance of getting uh, legendaries and there's also a 10% chance to get Prince Kaimar. I don't have Prince Kaimar. He is one of the best champions in the game. I mean he's so good in arena and he's the king of speed runs for dungeons and he's great for Doom Tower as well. So his two abilities that make him really strong are his A2 which basically removes all buffs from the enemy and then puts sleep on them. So if they've got immunity or stone skin, he's just going to remove that and then he's going to put them to sleep and then you can come in and do whatever you want to the enemy team. Uh, he also um, has a reset course down uh, for your allies, which is really strong. So if you're in dungeon waves with Seer, you know, you'll drop the first wave in like 15 seconds. He resets all your skills. You go again and then... You know, you're going to get to the boss within like 30 seconds and it just really speeds up your runs. Um, but for Arena as well, you know, you set everything up, your Nuka does their big AoE hit, he resets the skills and you get to go again. It is just godlike. Um, yeah, so it's such a strong champion. So just before um, we do start pulling shards, I do want to sort of show you this. So it's Champion Chase uh, on at the moment. And they've got a picture of like all these immortal soul stones. And you think, oh yeah, I'd really like some of those. And then you click on it. And there's there's not a single one in there, not even for first place, which is just an absolute joke. Um, and they are so hard to come by. Um, so Eternal Soul Stone, I've had two in four months as free to play. And Immortal Soul Stones, I think I've had six. Um, they really need to start dishing these out for free to play. Um, I know that Pete, obviously if you're like a big spender, it's fine. Like you're getting loads of these and stuff. And even if you are a big spender, you should be getting these as well. It's not fair that they're just really restricting how much they're sort of putting these out there. And, you know, I'm, you could still pull an Eternal Soul Stone and still not get an Epic. It might take me a year to get, like, three, which is just an absolute joke. So they really need to sort of um, up the rate there anyway. So let's start pulling some shards. I really want to take my time because I really do want this Prince Kaimar. Um, okay, so we're starting up, we're opening up with uh, Fanex, uh, FedEx, great champion. Um, I really like him. Uh, you can do, you can use him in arena, um, and he's really good because he's a one. Will if he does kill someone, they cannot be revived. Um, he's really also really good for ice golem as well. Really cool champion. Really like him, and he's a hard hitter. He's got one of the hardest a one hitters in the game. Uh, this champion, uh, Sakara S Shakira, um, she's pretty cool. Um, I've never actually personally used her, but I think. She's been buffed recently, and as you can see by the ratings, she is a lot better than what she used to be. Uh, but yeah, personally, I've not used her. Oh my god, I'm, just, I'm starting to get like itchy feet now. Um, Blood Feather, I don't think she's amazing, but you can use her for Faction Wars. Um, and if there's any sort of um, Orc specific dungeon runs, here we go, here we go, here we go. Lady Kimmy, oh my god. All right, I've wanted this girl for a long time. She is an absolute beast in Hydra and Arena, which is the two main areas that I care about where I'm at with my account. Um, so the two things, well, this is one of her really strong abilities, especially for Arena. So she removes one random buff from each enemy, then has 75% um, chance of placing block buffs, which can book up to 100% for two turns. And she also increases your turn meter and also increase buff and increase speed. This is just like, this ability by itself is just absolutely amazing. And it's on a four turn cooldown when fully booked. Um, so basically if you come against a team with stone skin, there's a very good chance it's going to remove all those buffs from them. Or just any sort of, just being able to remove buffs is just so strong. And then putting out block buffs as well, just seriously strong. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah, shit like, because of also that turn meter feels well and block buffs are really strong for Hydra. She's just an absolute goddess. So yeah, very pleased with that. And how I'd pair up in Arena is um, like an Arbiter, Lady Kimmy, uh, a Nuka, and then like another supportive champion or like a buff stripper, something like that. But yeah, oh, what what an absolute beast of a pull. Uh, Allure, um, I've got about three of these. Another great champion, really good for Finite. That's where she really shines. But anywhere where you need to decrease the enemy's turn meter, she, she is your champion. Um, great for... Um, Doom Tower as well, um, Dark Fae, 
but also um, Scarab as well. Jotun, don't use him. Don't think he's that great. Probably just worth skipping. Another Lego. Oh, another Sigmon. All right. So I've got two of these now. Um, I know he's going to be pretty good for Hydra. Um, I've not used him, to be honest, um, just because I've got other champions. He's pretty cool. I think he was a fusion. Um, but yeah, not 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 what we're looking for. So it looks it looks like we're not going to be getting that Prince Kaimar. Um, this guy's so, sort of new. Um, haven't seems quite good though. Um, let's have a quick look at his skills. Okay, so increases damage. I'd say his kit doesn't look super amazing. I'd say average. Average at best. And this guy is just ugly. Um, Gorlos Helmore. Um, yeah, I'd say just like another average looking champion. I've never seen him in any content and I've never personally used him either. Ah, oh, come on. Three Lego. Oh. So, so, yeah. so this is my second one. Um, I'm going to be upgrading my Banner Lords Faction Guardians by the looks of it. So she's another, she is a really good champion. Um, really good for arena defense because she can um, remove buffs, um, all buffs from the enemy. So again, for stone skin meta, she's great for that. And she has a lot of healing as well. Um, and she also um, puts up block debuffs as well. So she's a really strong champion. Um, don't know, does anyone else really use her? Oh, arena offense, yeah, of course, yeah. Doubles up for that. But um, yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else I'd really use her. But she is a solid champion. I mean, if you pull her on sort of mid early game, here we go. Back to back. Oh my God. Ricked off the bold. Um, I don't have this champion. He's new to my account. Um, I don't think he's particularly great. Um, yeah, you can see he's not rated too highly. So that is quite sad. So we've pulled four, four legendaries out of 13, which I'm not claiming, but that is very good. Um, two dupes though. But we've not got a Prince Kaimar, and it's not looking good. Oh, this is a new dude. Um, this I think this this is my first um epic for the uh, new faction, the uh, Savlan Watchers. So what's this guy do? Another increase attack champion. Oh, sorry, increase accuracy even on himself though. But that's cool. Um, da -da -da -da. also does a uh, decrease attack defense and then attacks as well. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. Not like not amazing, but when they open up the faction, will uh, open up faction wards, and it's our last shard, and we didn't get Prince Kaimar. I am so gutted. Oh, uh, but I mean, on the plus side, we did get Lady Kimmy, and that's all I really care about. So she is definitely getting like six stars straight away. Um, and the other ones are just gonna sit sit in the vault, unfortunately. All right, so. Um, this week's winner, um, yeah, so shout out competition, um, do that in a moment. If you do want to get involved, all you need to do is subscribe, drop a comment below and like, and you'll just get it automatically entered into the next shout out competition. I do these every two weeks for my shard pools and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with the show. So just before we do the shout out competition, um, I just wanted to check my champion chase tournament points. And as you can see, we've, with four legendaries, we've not hit the final milestone, which is an absolute joke as end game free to play. Um, you know, I know I only had 13 sacreds. Um, usually I average between 20 to 25. This is an absolute joke. Um, 13 sacreds. I've been going for a bit of a dry spell from clan boss. He has been very tight, but um, yeah, just an absolute joke. But anyway, um, I'm going to have to pull um, some fragment champions, probably like two legendaries and an epic just so I can get that legendary book because when you're end game free to play, this is like the, almost the only place you can get these books from. And whenever you can get a legendary book, you do need to get them. So yeah, anyway, let's get on with the shout out competition. All oh, right, geez, Rick. Oh, shut up, Marty. <coughs> get your hand in, in the game. I'm Pickle Rick. All right, guys, I'm so sorry. Morty is so hard to do. I just don't have a deep enough voice or burpy enough to do it, I'm afraid. But yeah, so this is Kodo's account. This guy, he's not a Kraken, but he is a whale. Um, and, you know, his account isn't as stacked as I thought it would be, but it, 
is still a very nice account. So um, I'm going to talk about all the champions that I'm jealous of. So he's got Prince Kaimar plus one. Very, very nice. Uh, we've already talked about Prince Kaimar. Who else am I jealous of? I was going to say Lady Kimmy, but I've actually pulled her now. So not so jealous of that. Uh, Acrecia, um, Hydra Killer. Um, Kodo's like, sent me screenshots where he's got 195 million damage on Hydra. Um, brutal using Acrecia. So yeah, top tier champion for that. Who else has he got that I don't have that I'd absolutely love on my account? Necred and Seafy and Krisk all in the same row. Um, yeah, so Necred, like amazing for Arena. Um, Seafy, just great for all around content, but also, you know, really good for Arena as well. Um, Krisk, um, PvE, God, and, you know, yeah, will carry so hard in Hydra. No wonder Kodo's punching these big numbers out. Um, who else has he got that I'd really like? Uh, Withya as well, great champion. Um, could be so annoying in Arena defense. Um, and he does have a Rotos just behind my head. So he does have Roast and Siffy, which is a great combo if you're lucky enough to pull that. Um, Duchess, uh, a champion that everyone is after, which I also wish that I had. Uh, Gearoid, oh, I, can never, I can never pronounce it. The Nutcracker, um, probably the number one arena champion right now. Kodo is lucky enough to have them on his account. Um, I do actually have two Constantines myself. And Constantine is a great champion, so underrated. In my opinion, top five arena nuka, easy. Um, and then a Tormund as well, and another Krisk. Jesus, who else has he got? Uh, Baron as well, who's now like a top tier arena, a uh, top tier arena nuka as well, out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. A Candrophon would be nice. Um, but yeah, the other ones that he had up there absolutely boss and yeah three three trunders really kodo but yeah great like really really nice account yeah so that is pretty much the end of the video guys good luck with your shard pulls let me know who you've pulled in the comments below please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll see you in my next video peace